Hi, Calamari community. Today, I'm going to be walking you through how to vote in the Calamari ecosystem. Before we get into the example, I'm going to go over the three main phases of governance changes in Calamari. Every change to the way that Calamari is governed has to go through these phases so that all changes are approved by the community. First is the launch period, where all proposals are registered with the chain, and then you submit them for community review with a pre-image hash. This is so that the changes can't be tampered with once the voting starts. Then, if a proposal gets enough backing, it becomes a referendum, where anyone with token gets to put in a vote on the matter. You get to vote A or nay, which just means yes or no, and your vote is weighted based on how much token you put behind it. Finally, we move into the enactment period. If a vote succeeds, then the proposal is automatically enacted. If it fails, then nothing happens. So to get to the UI that we'll be using today, you'll want to go to polkadot.js.org slash apps. And this is a UI that works with any Polkadot and Kusama compatible parachain. So once you connect, you'll be able to get to Calamari under Kusama and Parachains, connect to whatever node you want, and then click switch, and it'll bring you to this UI. So what we're doing today is under the Governance Democracy tab, and what I'm about to show you is on a local node, so it won't look quite the same, but it is the same interface. Let's break down what we're seeing on the screen for a second. So at the top, we have the referenda, that is things that you can vote on. And then below that, we have two different queues for proposals that are trying to become referendums. The middle one, which is titled proposals, is proposals that come from any token holder like you. And the bottom one, which is titled external, comes from the council. So right now, the only feature that's enabled is for council members to be able to create proposals, but pretty soon we'll be opening that up to everyone. The way it works is that every seven days, which is the launch period, the queues trade off which one produces proposals. So one week they'll be coming from the community and one week they'll be coming from the council. So in this example, we already have a referendum that's ready to be voted on, and it's a pretty simple one. So it's using the remark extrinsic to put some random string on the chain. And in practice, this is going to be something like a runtime upgrade with a new set of features or funding from the treasury for a cool open source project. Now to vote on this referendum, you'll first choose how many of your tokens you want to put behind your vote. By default, the tokens that you put behind your vote are going to be locked for the period of the referendum. But you can also choose to lock up your tokens for a longer period of time after the referendum is over in order to give your vote more weight. To do that, you'll change the default conviction value of your vote, and it'll tell you how long your tokens will be locked for in exchange. So let's quickly see what it looks like to vote. So we'll have Charlie vote I, which is yes, with 1,000 of his tokens, and a default conviction, so no additional lockup period. So now we're just going to wait for the extrinsic to go through and remember that once you voted those tokens are going to stay locked even if you change your vote so just be thoughtful with how you're voting okay so we see that it went through and let's just refresh the page and we see that charlie's vote is showing up now and we can confirm on the account page that Charlie now has a thousand tokens locked. And now let's see what we have to do to unlock those tokens at the end of the voting period. So I'm in the developer extrinsic submission tab, and there are two calls that I need to submit at the end of the voting period. So this won't work during the voting period when your tokens are still locked, but afterwards so what I want to do is go select myself and then go to democracy remove vote with the index of the referendum that we just voted on. That was one, so we'll put one in. And then I'm not going to submit that because the referendum isn't over yet. But the second call is then unlock with myself as the target, so Charlie. 
So yeah, that's a quick overview of how to vote in Calamari, and we'll be creating a forum soon where you all can get involved in discussions about various proposals and referendums that are going on. We really want you to get involved and take control of the system. It's going to be mostly runtime upgrades right now, which will bring in lots of new features, and then yeah, there'll be lots of cool stuff coming down the pipeline.